What is up YouTube? Prepared to wander out in the woods today and we're going to be looking at some bushcraft fire starters that uh, just came up on the market that I've been aware of and I think they're kind of unique and I think we're going to take a closer look at them and see what you guys think so stick around. So I was contacted by Black and White, which is the name of the company, and they wanted me to check out some of their fire starting products that they sell on Etsy. And I said, yeah, I definitely would love to check that out. I'm always interested in fire starting gear. Um, fire is one of the most important elements of bushcraft, survival, camping. I mean, without a fire, uh, you can't you know, you can't boil water, you can't cook food, you can't stay warm. Um, it's just a game changer. So having man-made fire starters in your kit is always a good idea as a backup or as an initial fire starter for you. And Black and White makes all kinds of fire starting products. And they sent me this kit and a few extra things to look at, and I want to go through those with you today. So as far as what's in the kit itself, it comes with a bag of this what they call light wood you get a box of matches you get a package of kindling there is a small lighter that comes with it you'll have to fill that up yourself with Zippo juice but it is a lighter. Then you get these two containers of fire starter that have uh, that are like a cake. So what I want to do today is I want to go through these and try them out with different ignition sources and uh, just see how they do as far as starting up easily because that's really the important part are they going to start easily is it going to be um, uh, something that uh, can be a game changer for you in the woods here's the package of kindling now this looks like almost like a fat wood But not quite. It's not fat wood. It does smell like fat wood, though. <clears throat> You smell that? It's definitely got a, um, once you cut into it, it has an aroma of fat wood. And here's the lighter that it comes with. Oh yeah, that starts up really easily and very quickly, that kindling. So it's definitely some kind of impregnated wood, which would be great um, if you're working with a campfire or a stove, you want to get it going quickly and easily. Just shave off some pieces from that kindling and you're going to have, uh, you're going to have a fire pretty quick. That's pretty good stuff. That went up. That went up really quickly. It's been raining here for the past couple of days. We had a, a big storm pass through here last night, so the woods are just completely soaking, soaking wet. Everything's wet. 
so having a man-made fire starter definitely um, is a big deal wood still burning it's pretty decent stuff blow that out get that smoke going on may keep the skeeters away this is kind of fascinating to me it's like a cake it's obviously got some sawdust in it, maybe some wax. Let's see how easy it is to cut into. So definitely don't want to burn the whole thing up in one shot. It's something you want to um, use in, in pieces. Uh, it looks like there's some cotton fiber in there. So we're just going to take off a hunk of this. And see how that burns. And the rest I'm going to put back in the container. So it's kind of nice that they gave you a container to go with it. That way... You can save the rest for later. That took a flame really quick. It's burning a good long time. That was just a little chunk off the the cake. It wasn't um, wasn't a big piece. Next thing we want to try is this, this what they call light wood. <clears throat> this looks like some kind of fat wood dust or particles. Maybe some cedar in there. I don't know what I don't know what all's in there. I got to find out. But it looks like it's um little pieces of wood and then there's some dust and I think what we'll try is we'll try to do this with um, a ferro rod and see how it takes it to a ferro rod because this looks like it would be a good material to use with a ferro rod so we'll get it right in there That took a spark right away. While that's burning, <clears throat> there's another product he sent um, that wasn't, it's not part of the kit, but you can purchase it separately. And it comes in this tube. And it just says jute on it. I like these tubes because you can use them to store um, stuff when you're done with them. But it looks like this is kind of like a um, impregnated jute twine. There's some kind of wax or some kind of other fuel added to it.
that starts right away. That will let that burn over there. <clears throat> so this light wood's burning a good long time. <clears throat> so all in all, uh, pretty decent fire starters um, for the money. Um, I'll have prices and links down below so you guys can check that stuff out. But um, you know, it's uh, it's always great to have a man-made fire starter and having something that's already put together for you that you can just purchase and throw it in your pack and not have to worry about it. Um, I think is great. Um, it's made in the USA. Wichita, Kansas is where they where they hail from. Black and white fire starter it sells all kinds of different fire starting products, kits, individual items, just really unique stuff. So check them out on Etsy and see what you think about their products. I'll have a link down below, like I said, so be easy to find. Um, really great guy to work with. Uh, I like supporting. US made, USA made businesses and, and small businesses in particular and this is one um, I'd like his products pretty neat stuff I'll definitely have these in my pack and take along with me on my adventures um, you know I use a lot of different little stoves so having a fire man-made fire starter for a stove is, a, is a, uh, a great thing to have just because it's easier to start because you're working in a confined space you can get something inside there and get that lit up quickly and then put your your kindling and your your branches and twigs and all that stuff in there and and get that going um, so you know it's definitely uh, a product that I'm going to use and continue using in the future um, this is not just a one-time review you'll be seeing this stuff out in the field with me on other other videos so, so definitely check those out all right, as always, please like, subscribe, and share. Make sure you follow the Facebook group and the Instagram uh, group. Those are growing huge and doing very well, and I appreciate everybody's participation and feedback. Um, as always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on The Prepared Wanderer.